coverage. More experience. More stats. And that's final. ET Final Score is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. Hello fans and welcome to our ETFinalScore.com high school football show. I've got Chris Perry with me filling in for Shane Stark this week to talk about specifically a huge Class 3A playoff matchup. Well Chris, uh, I know you've been doing some work on this, uh, this henderson Gilmer game coming up. What have you uh, been able to find out about? I found out that these two teams are these two teams are playing their best football at the right time of the season. And I know that's cliche, but that's what uh, Coach Meek said. He, he, he was feeling really confident about his football team. Then he starts looking at the film on Gilmer and sees that Gilmer's playing really, really well. Uh, Henderson's doing it mainly on the ground. Uh, mm. They've you know, they've gone more out of a, a more from a balanced situation to more out of a you know out of an option with uh, with Wright, uh, Diamante Wright, who's tailback, who's coming off a career game uh, in yardage, uh, you know, in their last playoff game. Both of these teams played teams last week that they met the year before in the playoffs and took care of them. Henderson beat Salina. And uh, Gilmer finally beat Argyle. Argyle's kind of had Gilmer's number the last mm -hmm. couple of years. So it's an interesting. It's kind of an, it'll be an interesting game between two teams that know each other well. Yeah. Right now, Gilmer really has Henderson's number. Henderson has not beaten Gilmer since 1997. Really? So that's just wow. Uh, that's I mean, a heck of a stat. Now, granted, they've only played each other. They played each other. Right now, Gilmer has won the last three meetings, and they hadn't played since 1997 before that. Yeah. But that's the last time that huh. uh, Henderson has beaten the Gilmer Buckeyes. You know, one thing I noticed: both teams. In the playoffs, are averaging over 50 points a game. Yeah, so they're like doing fantastic, and really every team out of that district. That team, that district was called the District of Doom, mm -hmm. and and it's it's proven to be that. Kilgore, Henderson, Gilmer, all of them have cruised yeah. nine and zero, and they're all still playing in the postseason. Wow, and that. Uh, the Henderson Gilmer game, uh, 7 p.m. Friday, Lobo Stadium, Longview. That's going to be a packed house. It will be, and it's the second time that's where they played uh, earlier this season. This is, is a rematch. I don't know if I got a chance to mention that. It's a rematch. Uh, Gilmer beat Henderson 28 to 26 in a game where Henderson had uh, really, really some unfortunate penalties. They had two touchdowns called back, and they also had a two-point conversion that would have tied the game called back. All for legitimate reasons, all because of alignment issues, as because and that game, that's when Henderson made the switch, at, made a switch at quarterback, and they've gone the same way since then. But that game, they were kind of trying to learn things. People were trying to line up. They were they they had been more of a passing team, and they started going out more out of a, out of a veer option look. Okay. And ever since they've done that, they've been fantastic. Yeah. And just a quick mention of, of uh, other teams. You know, we've got Alto in Class One A, Dangerfield in Two A. Uh, and JT and 4A. So we're rep East Texas is represented in all but 5A right now. East Texas is doing a fantastic job, and I and I think I think they're going to continue. I think you and I will be talking about East Texas, or show, probably Shane. Shane will be he will be back next week. Uh, we'll be talking about East Texas in in the playoffs again next week. I I, I guarantee. Well, of course, we're guaranteed to at least have one between Gilmore yeah. and Henderson, and I can also see Dangerfield and even maybe even Alto pulling off an upset as well. And Kilgore is actually in a state semifinal this week, correct? Kilgore is playing a team that I I know really well, uh, coming from the from the Brownwood area. Uh, before here, okay. Stephenville is always, oh, yeah. always a team that can light up a scoreboard, right. and they're usually traditionally a team that throws the ball all over the yard. Whereas Kilgore has been that power, so it's going to be a good contrast in styles between the power rushing, strong defense that you get uh, from a Kilgore football team and the spread it out, spread out passing, scoring bonanza that you get from Stephenville. And so that'll be an interesting matchup. All right, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, uh, football fans, we'll be back next week uh, to talk about teams that are trying to advance to either a state championship or semifinal round.